What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Cook's Corner. Today, we're gonna make fajitas in the air fryer. We're sticking with the air fryer theme today because it's 100,000 degrees outside. What have I been saying throughout all these videos? We just gotta make it to December, man. I just need it to get cold so I can start smoking stuff on the old smoker and that'll be coming soon. All right, so I've seen like six recipes for this in the air fryer on the interwebs. They pretty much all say to cut the chicken and mix all the vegetables together, which weirds me out because normally when you do that, the chicken gets dry, but everybody's saying it doesn't. So I cut it all up <laughs> and we're gonna try it out. So I cut the chicken into uh, what I would call bite size, bite size. Uh, it just kind of depends on what your, you know, size of your mouth is. That sounds weird, but that's what I said. All right, uh, then I've also cut up uh, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, red onions. We have, and then we have jalapenos over here off to the side. And all of this is gonna get a fajita spice on it. It's all gonna get mixed in this bucket. Let's talk about the fajita spice. So the easiest way to go about it is, I like to use a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of black powder. Uh, we're also gonna use garlic powder, oregano, Oh, oregano. Regular paprika, some people like to use smoked, we're using regular here. Uh, cayenne pepper, cumin, or as my wife likes to say, cumin, and onion powder. All right, so you're gonna wanna put a little bit of olive oil on your chicken before you season it, that way it sticks to it, and also the vegetables. Don't worry, after we mix in all the veggies, all of the veggies are going in here too, uh, everything's gonna be, you know, it's all gonna be tossed together. We're gonna have all the onions, the bell peppers, and the chicken. It's all gonna make sure it's coated and everything before we go to town. But I'm kinda, I'm a little full. But you know what? I don't care, because I like it. It's gonna add, it's gonna add all that flavor and texture. Man, it smells good in this kitchen today! Garlic powder. Woohoo! Cumin. You want to be careful with this stuff. It's pretty strong. I like it though. I like, it, but I mean, you can't. You can't overdo it. Onion powder. You don't need a lot of salt. So just a couple of hand cranks should do you. And then the same with the black pepper. Just go to town, however much black pepper you want. Okay, cool, so you've seen that all that stuff's on top. So we're gonna kind of just toss it around and make sure it gets over every piece of chicken. And then as soon as we, we feel like we've coated every single piece of chicken, then we're gonna drop our vegetables in and do the same thing. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, so we're gonna take all our awesome vegetables and dump it in and keep tossing away. Keep doing this until all of your vegetables are coated in your awesome, whatever this thing's called, fajita mix. Dropping them jalapenos in. Ooh, that's fire. Is that what the kids say? Do kids not say fire anymore? I don't even know what kids say anymore. When I was a kid, it was like, excellent. Make sure all of the vegetables are coated. All right, man. Look at that, we've got every single piece of chicken and vegetables coated. This smells freaking amazing. Let's get this in the air fryer. While that's cooking in the air fryer, we're gonna make some chunky guacamole. What I like to do is grab two uh, avocados, some pico de gallo, which I'll bring here for the camera. This is, uh, this was pre-made, I bought it at the store. It's already made, it's cool. You can make your own if you want. And then we get cilantro and some white onions. What's in the pico is a little bit of jalapenos, tomatoes, and white onions, and a little bit of cilantro. We love cilantro and white onions, so we're gonna add a little bit extra. We're also gonna add about a fourth teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic, and then we'll add some lime to it. All right, so just cut your uh, avocado. Look at that thing, that's pretty. 
what we're gonna do here, is scrape this stuff right on out. Woo! I'll start with the Pico. I love Pico. I love it so much. I don't know why I love it so much, but I love it so much. So let's add a little bit of this. Then I'm gonna come back in with some more onions and more cilantro because again, I love onions and cilantro. And then because it's chunky guacamole, we're probably just gonna use the spoon and chunk up the, the avocado a little bit. And then we'll come back in with some lime and garlic. All right, so here's that little bit of one fourth. You don't need a lot of minced garlic, but you know, you're gonna want a little bit. You wanna make sure that gets all up in there. Mix the crap out of it. Because if you don't, you get one just giant bite of garlic, you're gonna regret it. <laughs> All right, so after it's mixed up really, really well, let's go ahead and add that lime. All right, we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lime in there. I like to roll it a little bit, get those juices flowing, give it a nice big cut. And then we'll add it to our handy dandy lime squeezer. These things are great. Really gets the most out of your lime. I like to put a whole lime in there. So you may you may only want a half. You know, it just depends on your taste. I like one whole lime. Lime also helps it from uh, also helps it not brown so fast. And there's another trick to that too. Apparently, apparently, if you use the seed and throw it back in. That also helps it not brown so quickly. I don't know how true that is. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, so this already tastes amazing, but we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Uh, again, Himalayan sea salt, I love it. Just a couple turns, you don't want a lot. A very small amount of cumin. Because Texas crack black pepper. All right, so what's cool about this is you can use it on your fajitas and you can get a nice, awesome chip and get it in there and just have some great, you know, just have a great time with it. But we're gonna put it in the fridge while the rest of the stuff is cooking. All right, you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of olive oil on your basket. You probably don't need to because your chicken and vegetables already have olive oil on it, but I like to be extra careful because you don't want that stuff to stick, right? So I put a little on a brush and I brush away. You're gonna to wanna to fill your basket, and I think that we should go ahead and make sure we cover every corner of the basket. That way, everything is getting cooked evenly. The air fryer is a pretty amazing thing. You don't really have to mess with where you place stuff, but everybody's air fryer is different. So you might wanna know your air fryer before you try this recipe. I don't know if I know mine well enough. A lot of people like to say that you should preheat your air fryer. Some people say you don't need to. I'm 50-50, uh, man. I mean, when you preheat the thing, it's so small, and then all of a sudden you open it, and then you just lost all that heat, so what's the point? So today, we're not preheating anything. We're gonna stick it in, and we're gonna turn it to air fryer, which is cool. It's at 350. I wanna put it at 325 for my air fryer. Uh, the reason I'm doing that for this air fryer is because it cooks chicken really fast. Again, everybody's air fryer is different, so you might want to mess with this. But one thing you can do is always use a thermopin to just go in there and check the chicken and make sure it gets to an internal temperature of 160. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to do, so do 10 minutes. Uh, at five minutes, we're gonna check it, mix it around, and then go up to 10. We may have to go longer, we may have to go shorter. It's a big experiment, but you're here to find out how it works. Okay, cool, we're at five minutes, so now we're gonna take uh, the basket out, and we're gonna move some stuff around. Oh man, it smells great already. So all we gotta do is just kind of flip them around just a little bit, 
just make sure we're hitting every single piece of chicken the right way. The cool thing about the air fryer is you don't really need to do this, but I think it's kind of a good practice just so you're making sure everything is cooking evenly. Cool. I think that's good. Now we'll stick it back in for another five minutes and then we'll check the internal temperature. If you like warm tortillas, and I do, you're gonna to wanna to throw them in your pan. You don't need grease, you don't need nothing. Just grab your whatever awesome tortilla you want, throw it on there for about 10 to 15 seconds each side, let it warm up. And then if you have one of these awesome tortilla warmers, I mean, it's not warming them, but it keeps it warm. When you're ready to plate your stuff, you've got nice warm tortillas waiting for you. This is perfect. So it says 160. The, so the temperature is just going to keep rising. We're done cooking it. It no longer needs to be in there. We're going to put this off to the side and maybe cover it in a little bit of tin foil and let it keep cooking while we prep all the rest of the other stuff. All right, so we had to put it in a couple more times just to make sure we got it up to temperature because we put it at 325. You might want to do this at 350 to 390 for 10 minutes. Again, depends on your air fryer. Let's see how the chicken tastes though and hope I don't burn my mouth. Oh, tastes pretty good. It's really hot though. Woo! You can taste all that flavor, that cumin. Woo! Wow. I think I can actually taste paprika which is weird because I can never taste that. Dude, this is pretty delicious. I think we should go ahead and put it on tortilla. Oh yeah. Vegetables are crispy. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, let's get to eating. We need to get to eating. Let's eat. You do this part however you want, but this is how I do it. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on here because I like some sour cream. Then I'm gonna throw a little bit of cheese on there. This, this is Mexican shredded cheese, or at least that's what they call it. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more cilantro and onions because I love cilantro and onions. And then of course some pico with more cilantro, onions, and tomatoes. Gotta have all this stuff in here, man. Make it look like a Christmas tree. If you're not making it look like a Christmas tree, you're doing something wrong. I also wanna put in a little bit of our avocado guacamole fun. Cause you gotta have this in there, man. This is like the thing that brings it all together. This is the peanut butter to the jelly. This is the stuff. Woo! Jalapenos and all the goodness. Also, if you're like me, I like to do a little bit of this. Holy cow, get yourself some hot sauce too, man. Cause you know what? Those jalapenos ain't hot enough. We need some hot sauce on this thing. This is delicious. Ooh, I recommend you try this 100%, but you, gotta, you definitely gotta know your air fryer, man. Cause we had to stick it back in there a couple of times. That's why I said maybe 350, 10 minutes. But either way, this turned out freaking amazing. Let me let Don have some. Thank you for videotaping, Don, I love you. Uh, See y'all in the next one. Ow.